There are three functions that a university, polytechnic, or college of education should serve. These functions are teaching, research, and community service. Over the years, these noble objectives have been distorted by a lopsided focus on teaching to the detriment of research and community service. The Tertiary Education Trust Fund, having noticed this disturbing trend and analyzed how the development can be inimical to Nigeria's growth and development, has set out to correct this anomaly by initiating a laser focus on research and development. The visionary behind this project and its prime driver is the Executive Secretary of TED Fund, Professor Suleiman Elias Bogoro. His dream is to elevate content development on the organization's intervention scale to be at par with physical infrastructure. Often referred to as the apostle of R&D, the TED Fund boss brings clarity to why the improvement of faculty in Nigeria's higher learning institutions is crucial to achieving higher international ranking. Talking about faculty, faculty is about the personnel. Just be specific, I mean, um, the caliber of professors and researchers make a difference. Or chief lecturers in the polytechnics and college of education. Um, there are times when students, undergraduate students, they want to go for a lecture when they know that it is a respected top class professor or lecturer. They want to see this one is top class, first class, I mean, highly rated. If it goes into a class, um, you find out that from the beginning to the end, they, they are attentive because that person is of quality. And more so, especially when we are talking about quality of faculty, one of the requirements or indices of judging the quality of faculty is to determine how many research grants that faculty member, that professor, that researcher is attracted, both local and international research grants. Those are some of the parameters that are used to determine the content quality. If you take a look at the ranking of research grants, you find the Ivy Leagues are top there. They have the highest research grant. Research grant, for instance, in uh, California University, Harvard, um, it's, it's, it's as good as the, the entire budget of uh, more than half of Nigerian states put together. Then, but that is a single university. That speaks about what is required, the funding requirement. But investment has been delivered to invest in the right areas. But then, the, coming back to the R&D thing, if you are not undertaking research to improve the value of either the cement that the Dangotes are investing on, or expanding the value chain in the oil industry through research, uh, innovative research, then you know that we are not advancing. If it is agriculture, if they are not, if there is no value addition for agri produce, if it is, uh, you just say, well, we have red Sokoto, and so what? What are you getting out of it? Is it just the meat or is it the milk or some gold? Because some of us animal scientists, we know that gold meat is one of the very best. If you are not getting value addition from the production or injecting aspect of science into it, then you are not, we're not advancing. These are some of the areas that should occupy the researchers and faculty members in a university. The director of R&D and Centers of Excellence at TED Fund, Dr. Salu Bakari, Gire is in harmony with the position of his executive secretary. Government has been investing money in universities. And universities are supposed to do three things. Teaching, research, and community service. But they have been doing more of research. It was more of teaching than research. And you cannot do, carry out effective community service without research. So they are not also doing, they are doing little of community service. You have the industries in Nigeria that today they go out of this country, outside this country, to give money, you know, for research because they are not sure of the research product, research outcome in Nigeria because they have not been tested. Now, and government is there, you know, standing alone. They keep saying the universities must produce something for this country. The universities must help develop the economy of this country. 
government is saying the industries, we must have indigenous industries. You know, industries must evolve and solve our problems. Tech Fund is now representing government that is trying to bring these two together so that we activate that relationship and see how we develop our country through knowledge. Nowhere is the need for content improvement more exemplified than the quality of teaching staff. In tertiary education, this is referred to as the faculty. A faculty also refers to a division within a university or a college comprising one subject area or a group of related subject areas and possibly also delimited by levels. Suleiman Mohammed Sani is the director of academics at TED Fund. He's the man charged with the responsibility of managing the interaction between the fund and all things academic in Nigeria's public universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education. The department is responsible for providing scholarships for uh, university lecturers. We intervene in three different intervention lines. Number one, TISAS, that's uh, uh, tertiary uh, TED fund staff, uh, academic staff training, and then we have the conference attendance, and then the uh, teaching practice stroke uh, micro teaching laboratory equipment. These are the three lines of intervention that are, uh, the department handles. And uh, like I mentioned, the TSAS, which is uh, a TED Fund scholarship for academic staff, is geared towards uh, provision of scholarship to lecturers to study in the foreign and local institutions, while the conference attendance uh, also provides uh, support for uh, lecturers and uh, non-lecturers, that is teaching and non-teaching. Uh, these uh, give them the opportunity to travel outside the country or within the, uh, the country in Nigeria to present their, and showcase their uh, researches and uh, also collaborate with other international uh, uh, contemporaries of theirs. Uh, while the teaching practice is solely a support to uh, colleges of education for the supervision of teaching practice, and uh, the MTLE is solely for provision of uh, laboratory equipment for the micro teaching laboratories. Research and development is a process intended to create new or improved technology that can provide a competitive advantage at the business, industry, or national levels. The process of technological innovation, of which R&D is the first phase, is complex, risky, and therefore requires the total buy-in and ownership by the academia. What role does TED Fund's academic department play in the paradigm shift to R&D? Uh, before now, uh, the, the focus is more on provision of infrastructure for teaching and learning. But uh, com with the coming of the second coming of the secretary, I mean, executive secretary, he had a vision, a very wide vision, not only for TED Fund, but for Nigeria as a whole. And then for his vision to, I mean, for us to realize his vision, Definitely, there must be synergy between my department, Department of uh, uh, Education Support Service, and uh, the R&D department. And uh, our role, as I mentioned, is provision of uh, support, scholarships, conference attendance for the uh, university lecturers to uh, uh, showcase their research and collaborate with their contemporaries within and outside the country. Uh, recently, I recall uh, in trying to you know, focus more on research, the Board of uh, Trustees through the uh, 
Executive Secretary approved the introduction of uh, postdoc fellowship, which is solely a program for the lecturers or the academicians to uh, travel outside the country and then uh, participate in the laboratory activities outside the country. And uh, I can also recall that uh, uh, recently the Executive Secretary on behalf of the fund signed a memorandum of understanding with PARA. PARA is the uh, Forum for uh, Agri Agricultural Research in Africa, which is uh, 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 an organization that uh, deals specifically with agri agricultural research. And uh, the essence of that is to allow and uh, expose our young graduates, particularly those that uh, have uh, graduated uh, from the, freshly from the uh, 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 universities to go outside the country and, uh, and uh, learn how to you know, uh, 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 conduct research, meaningful researches, and then come back to the country uh, as entrepreneurs. And um, that also is, uh, will help a lot because uh, in the 2020 budget, the federal government have approved the establishment of uh, centers of excellence in the six geopolitical zones. This, uh, uh, this is a del deliberate uh, attempt to uh, provide uh, basic research facilities. Uh, and then these uh, young graduates, when they are back in the country, uh, will be using these uh, centers and uh, make a production, agricultural production of consumable items that will go into Nigerian markets. And uh, you can see a lot will come out of it. There will be employment, there, there will be also economic gain uh, the, the country will gain from it, and uh, there will be a collaboration also between the academia and the private sector. And uh, I believe the ES has gone far beyond just uh, agitating. Its uh, intention is well known to the country, and that makes the uh, academic uh, environment to turn to, towards his uh, vision and they are key in now and I believe in the next five to ten years we will see a great change in the, in the country in terms of uh, uh, research and uh, development. In today's information age, besides getting information, it's important to use that information effectively and create value. This context increases the value of innovation and leads to renewal of science technology that provides economical and social benefits. The goal of innovation is positive change, to make someone or something better. Innovation leading to increased productivity is the fundamental source of increasing wealth in the economy. Therefore, innovation is the most important factor for countries that guarantees employment, sustainable growth, social welfare, and improved quality of life. There is what we call uh, human capital. Human capital development is critical because yes, we continuously be telling you that yes, it is not the number of buildings in your university that will assist you to attain the global ranking when it comes to the university system. It's going to be the faculty who are the people that are teaching people. And uh, you know the three pillars of the university, uh, the teaching, the research, and the community service. Yes, we've concentrated on one for long. That is the teaching. But again, the question is that what are we teaching people in this country? Why is it that if you learn a subject in this country, you cannot make reference to your notebook when you are in your workplace in the same discipline? So that's something that we need to query. Dr. Sani sheds more light on the impact made so far. The impact, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, before my coming, uh, there was 
not a, a, a significant impact, uh, so to say. But uh, when I came in, uh, we tried to re refocus the direction of the department. And uh, I believe our intention is clearly known to our stakeholders. We were able to secure a lot of approvals uh, to bring in innovations into the activities of the department. And uh, people are beginning to understand that uh, the, the, the intervention of third point uh, is, cannot be sustainable without the contribution of all the stakeholders. And uh, they are beginning to respond to our uh, communications and then a lot of uh, difference have been achieved. But specifically, I will tell you, we are at the verge of implementing this uh, 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 approvals and uh, changes. And I believe in the next few months to come, the impact would clearly show. A prominent feature of the paradigm shift is Professor Bogoro's application of the triple helix model. This refers to constant interactions between academia, industry, and government to foster economic and social development. Ted Fund understands that knowledge generated by scientific and technological institutions are instruments of competitiveness that guarantee financial returns for business. The state is responsible for regulating these relations in order to promote and develop the interaction between entrepreneurship and innovative environments. I mentioned uh, just recently the collaboration, the agreement between uh, Tet Fund and FAR is a similar uh, thing you are talking about. And I also mentioned that uh, not only the academic staff or the lecturers have begun to understand and to realize that uh, research and development is the answer to the economic development of the country. And uh, I think I also mentioned that uh, the, both the lecturers and the private sector are now keying in uh, to the research and development. And uh, we are just starting. And I believe, as I also mentioned in some years to come, with the provision of the required facilities and the equipment, uh, things will change. Triple Helix is just like saying uh, we are building a relationship on three, it will be three legs, just like the word triple. One leg is the academia that are supposed to do the research. The other leg is the industry that is supposed to now uptake the outcome of research into products and services. And then the other leg is government that will bring the two together. You know, government has to come to bring the academia and the industry together so that we now um, are able to uh, actualize that knowledge economy that I was talking about. The knowledge is supposed to be from the, the universities. The universities are supposed to be hub of knowledge. They are supposed to actually be the hub for startups, you know, for ideas, for, I mean, all, at times you call them crazy ideas, but those crazy ideas, you know, you have to disrupt it, you are thinking, and come up with those crazy ideas. And then those ideas will now be tested by the university community and see the potential. And that potential will be obtained, will, will be funded by the industries so that they, they come up, they bring out some products out of this. As an example, maybe 200 years ago, if someone said that there will be a flying object, you know, that will carry people from one place to another, someone would just say, this is a crazy person, just waste your time, it's, it's just crazy. But, you know, in the early uh, 1914 or so, you know, the brothers came up with that idea and it was processed 
over time and time. And today we have all sorts of, um, not only aeroplanes, we also have drones. You know, today you have, you have even, um, yes, drones that even deliver messages for whatever, you know, you, you today have all those. But maybe 200 years ago, if someone thought of that, it was, uh, just forget about this. So the universities are there to think about all those ideas that, that you might not think will even work. And the industry is there to obtain whatever that come out of that university that will now become a product that may be sold to public. The director of academic staff training and development is also working on promoting applied research in Nigeria's higher learning institutions. I mentioned uh, definitely there must be synergy between these departments. But um, for now what we do is to receive uh, uh, write-ups from uh, uh, sponsored scholars after completion of their uh, studies and then to forward to the Department of uh, Education Support Service for publication as journals or books and um, it's also the, the product of our intervention as a department that participate also in the research at local and international uh, level. That is the National Research uh, Grant and uh, the, the, the institution-based research, which is handled by the Research and Development uh, and Centers of Excellence Department. And the uh, other one is the, 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 the outcome of thesis and, uh, and the research works for publication into journals and books, which, which the uh, ESS department handles. So this is how we work for now. And uh, I, I believe with time, uh, the collaboration, the, the synergy will be more expanded because with the introduction of the what, uh, new uh, intervention lines I, I mentioned, uh, definitely we, we, we will need to have uh, a more uh, extensive uh, connection than we have now. But for now, this is how we operate. And the, the ICT uh, department also uh, is the driver of our activities in terms of uh, uh, putting it into soft and and uh, soft uh, 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 wares and uh, what have you, and then taking it outside the pond. We also catch a glimpse of what is to come. It's a very good initiative, and uh, it's something that uh, supposed to have been done long ago. And uh, I believe if uh, all uh, stakeholders uh, will refocus and then put more effort on this program uh, and uh, with also commitment, commitment, zeal and understanding on the, uh, of the process, uh, definitely uh, the benefit is not only for university lecturers, it will go beyond because to go outside the academia, uh, I believe the Nigerian economy as a whole uh, will be affected by the, by the program. Only if we are able to uh, 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 sincerely put in our best and commit ourselves to the implementation of the R&D in Nigeria. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. TED Fund has decided not to follow in any footsteps, but to make its own. With the strategies put in place, the core challenges of Nigerian tertiary education will be addressed, triggering a fundamental change that will prove to be a revolution of the nation's knowledge economy. And that is the paradigm shift.